Okay, so loopy loopins. It is a bit loopy, actually. So these were the paintings that I did a few weeks ago. And you can see the first one that I did, if you watch the videos, just dried really badly, too fluid. You can see the gold and the bronze just all split the high flow. Should have blown it out with the straw. I think that would have helped. But the composition was beautiful when it was wet and you can see all the shapes of the flowers have been lost. The second one was better. Um, I thickened up the paint with some PVA, I think. Yes, I did. It's a while ago now. And um, you can see that there's definite shapes in there, but for me, it just needed to be defined a bit more. And you can see to the left and the right and above those flowers, it, the shapes have gone a little bit, lost their way a little bit. So what I want to do is pull that foreground detail out, so the lupins, so they pop. I'm calling them lupins. I've no idea what lupins look like. And you can see again that the gold and the bronze uh, kind of split up there. Some people have said they quite like that. I don't, don't like it personally. So you're gonna see a quick time lapse. I mean, a very quick time lapse of both paintings. What I do is I swap between the two paintings and I begin just to build up pictures and I'm using pens, metallic pens. I'm using um, paint, metallic paint. I'm using green, black paint. And I'm slowly working on, and it, it looks fast here, I'm slowly working on the darkest darks. What details can I bring out to make them dark? And I, I, I go to town on this painting. I just didn't like what was, what was going on um, in the background. So I begin to work on the concept of vines. Well, maybe not more of a fan it's more of a fantasy type painting isn't it and again pulling out the details working with the shapes that we've got um, dark green sometimes black and then adding lots of flowers to this one actually you'll see in the finished painting that I really do add a lot. And now I, I go in and I start adding some highlights, mid-tones and highlights. So, I'm gonna show you the finished paintings. These have been a few weeks in the process um, of being completed. I'm not gonna zoom out just yet. They're on the floor because they've just <laughs> had a coat of varnish. And actually you can see the colour shift paint there in this light. When I put them on the wall they go a bit dull. So I've kind of loved and hated these actually. <laughs> I'm glad I did it. But sometimes embellishments, sorry, enhancements, um, take take a long time actually. Let me just zoom out. You can see what's going on. There's that one there. I'm really pleased with it actually. It's a lot for the eye to see. And I just kept working on the darks, the lights, and the mid tones. I'm focusing on pulling the uh, flowers out there, lupins. I think I started off thinking that they were a bit like wisteria, but whatever fantasy type flowers got plenty of light going on in the foreground there darkened up the background it's got some depth fixed the gold at the top so that's that one and then spanning round to this one if you can see that let's just move the camera a little bit This one was a little bit more of a challenge. Let's zoom in. Wrong way. It 
different tones of gold. And, and don't forget this is the one that was completely uh, dried really badly. What's a bit of glare from the varnish there. Let's see if we can get a better angle. And here, there we go. There you go. So I really had to create a lot of foreground detail working with with what I had really and focusing if you can see this bit here. So again, focusing on one part that could really pop out of the painting. So your eye has something to focus on and it's not darting here, there and everywhere. Sometimes it actually hates it uh, hates works. I haven't done it in either of these paintings that if you create a dark corner so if you create um, the bottom I don't know right hand corner as a dark area then it pulls your eye into the center I have got a dark area at the bottom of that one and it draws your eye up to the middle so composition is really important that's the two paintings now you might say, well, why didn't I just wait to get these up on the wall? Well, my computer's going in to the repair shop tomorrow. Therefore, I won't be able to edit any videos. So I'm kind of jumping the gun a little bit. So yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys.